Hello and welcome to another Star Citizen video. In this video we're going to feature Shadow PC and I'm going to be playing on the Star Citizen PTU 3.30Z which is right hot off the presses. Uh, just came out a few hours ago. So um, just to show you, uh, just like the other uh, Shadow PC video that I recorded with Star Citizen, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like here on a computer in windowed mode here, but there have been some updates and some bug fixes, so I can actually show you how this is going to run in full screen mode. I don't need to increase the window, I just need to do the full screen command here. All right, so I'm recording at uh, 4K, 2160p. However, um, the Shadow PC graphics limitation right now is 1080p. So although I'm recording at 4K, you're really only seeing 1080p. Um, so some people might see a difference there. Just wanted to make sure you know. Also, uh, one change I made from the last time, let's go with the Origin 600i again. Just, you know, keep as many things the same. Here we go. Do. Um, you'll notice on the lower left-hand side of the uh, client, I'm displaying the uh, FPS monitor uh, and that is from the perspective of the host that is running the Shadow PC client. And then on the right side of the screen, I am running uh, an FPS display that is on the Shadow PC uh, itself. And that is um, from the perspective of the Shadow PC host running the Star Citizen client. If that's confusing to you, believe me, you're in good company. Um, <laughs> essentially, you're running uh, Shadow PC on a uh, hypervisor uh, server that runs, you know, hundreds, thousands of, of different uh, instances of uh, Windows 10 in this case. So um, they can do that and then slice out things like storage and RAM and CPU. You know, so they they put together all the components and then um, they can serve it out to uh, individuals that uh, sign up for this service. So uh, a lot of people wanted to see this. In fact, this video is, ah, there we go. <laughs> Found the right port. Um, a lot of people wanted to see an update to this video because the last version I ran was a little bit early. Oh good, the ship didn't lift off the platform this time. That's, that's always a bonus. The last time I did this, the uh, entire ship, when the uh, elevator came down, when I called the elevator, the whole ship just lifted up. All right, we're just going to hop in the pilot seat here and get off the pad as soon as possible. Whoop. Other way. We don't want to get kicked off. There's a little archetyping there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this happened the same time, I think, as last time. Um, I keep coming in from the left instead of from the right. So in this particular ship anyway, you have to enter the pilot seat from the right. I'm not sure if that's a feature or a bug. Eh, it's alpha. Okay, let's get flight ready. Get out of here before we get kicked out in a crime stat. Okay, so um, I'm trying to keep as many things the same as I can as I did in, in the last recording um, so you can see there's been a, a dramatic improvement in uh, frame rates <clears throat> excuse me so the frame rate um, you definitely notice um, you know we're, we're getting in the high 50s and low 60s um, typically frame rates between um, both systems from both perspectives 
uh, both from my local host and from the remote host perspective. It's such a beautiful ship. This is one of my favorites. Of course, <laughs> I can't wait for the 890. Well, once the 890 comes out, I probably won't, you know, do much in the in the 600i anymore. But who knows? Um, so we're just going to take this out on a nice quick out and back run. <clears throat> nope. There's Damar. Going to go out to Damar and back. So there's an occasional dip, maybe, you know, down into the, okay, down into the single digits there. Um, and that was from the um, perspective of, uh, from the local host to the remote host. But the re remote host stayed connected to the Star Citizen server, you know, pretty well. And, it, you know, it's getting up to 100 there. Um, so... I'm going to say that the performance has dramatically increased as I move my ship all over the place here, give you a good exterior view. Um, yeah, uh, performance has definitely increased. Um, and there may be several reasons for that. You know, of course, I try to keep everything, um, you know, using the scientific method, right? I try to keep everything as stable as possible um, so that you know any variation can be attributed to um, the performance update but um, let's see if the uh, weapons work in the same way yeah the weapons are still overheating pretty fast in this ship so definitely not a ship you want to get caught in a dogfight in right but why would you dogfight in a 600i i don't know i guess you could uh, certainly not me. <laughs> okay, let's head on back. I don't know what that alarm is. Um, apparently I have done something. Ah, okay. I think it was my um, quantum drive. Because as soon as I spooled up again, it went off. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, now, I know that um, they've been tuning uh, quantum fuel usage and um, a lot of other flight parameters, but I'm unfamiliar with the kind of uh, alarm that was going off there. And and that's it. And we're gonna just gonna return here and request um, docking permission or landing permission. Mm, beautiful ship. And the alarm is back. <laughs> well, I'm just going to ignore the alarm. Maybe I'll turn the stereo up a little bit. That's what I did in college whenever my car started making noises I wasn't familiar with. All right, we'll come in here, put our gear down, and, and go land. Um, so, as I was saying, I try to keep everything the same as much as possible. Some things have changed. Obviously, the game has changed. Um, so, net code, updated net code, cull binding, all kinds of things are in um, this version. If this is version 3.3.0Z uh, uh, as of November 2nd, uh, 2018, hot off the presses. So, uh, a lot of changes have been made in the Star Citizen client to um, affect this kind of performance. In addition, um, the Shadow PC client has been updated uh, a few times. And one huge update, um, I am no longer connecting to a Shadow PC host in Germany. I am now connecting to a Shadow PC host in San Francisco. So. A uh, big change there for me, uh, not, tr not just for this game, but for other games that um, I've tested on Shadow PC. So uh, that was a huge performance enhancement, uh, moving that server to the US. Uh, so now we're on a US server, running a US host, logged into you know game uh, to the US servers for Star Citizen. So um, I think a combination of those factors, slow it down, oh my goodness. 
and we'll use the automated lander. So I think a lot of those factors have helped um, improve the performance here. Oh, there's a little Avenger checking me out. Oh no, I think he's trying to land too. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna hop out of here. Okay, so um, first of all, uh, huge improvement, right? Um, uh, second point I wanted to make here was the full screen uh, works. Oh, oh, you have to call the elevator before you hop in. Okay, yeah, let's call the elevator. Um, so the uh, full screen works with Shadow PC now. It works great. Um, I have not run into any trouble with um, full screen gaming, uh, either with Star Citizen or with uh, any of the other games that I've tested in uh, Shadow PC. Um, so that's that's awesome. Um, and I guess third, I would say that um, the overall integration um, and ease of use for uh, Shadow Play has increased. Um, it's a lot easier to just hop in and go with it. But there is still a caveat um, when you're installing the game. You have to, um, uh, you have to create a virtual hard disk uh, on the Shadow PC host first, and then install Star Citizen to that virtual hard disk. Um, sorry about that, it's just the way it works. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why, but that is the way it works today. Um, I hope that that changes in the future, but it's not really a showstopper as long as you understand that caveat and don't have any trouble um, creating that virtual host. And, you know, I did, I did 60 gigs and it worked fine for Star Citizen. Um, that should work fine for you. All right. Uh, so let me know if you like this or want to see something else. Um, I'll go back into windowed mode here so you can see what it looks like. And we're out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and um, I will definitely uh, address them for you. Um, let me know if you want to see anything else and I'll record it for you. All right. Thanks. Bye.